hi omasa welcome back to my channel today we're going to be recreating this look on my gorgeous model my name is Ezin victoria Ineka. i'm a makeup artist based in Enugu, nigeria if you'd love to see how i created this look please do keep on watching thank you please do not forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel click on the notification bell and look out for my videos i started off by spraying her face with the new Brown beauty hydrating spray after that i went in with my sylvia mac mattifying primer i'm using a flat brush to spread this primer all over her face always make sure that your product is evenly distributed all over the face and on your client's neck it's always advisable to use a flat brush for your application after primer i went in with my foundation today i'm using a foundation from sylvia mac cosmetics and i'm using my white glam beauty blender to spread this foundation all over her face After I made sure I blended out my foundation well, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to highlight her under eye. This is one of my favorite concealers. It blends so well and it doesn't dry quick. So I'm going to apply this on her T-zones, which is her under eye, the bridge of her nose and her forehead. After placement, I went in with my beauty blender to blend out this concealer. It's always very, very important to make sure that your concealers are blended in properly and that your placements are quite perfect because this will determine the structure that you create on the face. So I'm using my beauty blender to make sure that this product is properly blended. After that, I went in with my foundation. The foundation I use for contour is my NYS Glow foundation. I'm using my beauty blender to um, blend out this foundation. Before blending out, I used a brush to place the foundation on the places that you need to be contoured after making sure that this contour is properly blended i'm still going to use the same foundation to contour the bridge of our nose using a flat brush after placement with my flash brush i'm going to go ahead and use the same beauty blender and blend out all the harsh lines on the bridge of our nose after I was done blending her nose, I went ahead to reapply the same concealer on her forehead. After application, I had to blend out properly to make sure that the highlight and the contour is properly blended together. I went ahead to apply my liquid blush. Today, I used the New Band Beauty Cream Blush. I love this particular blush so much. I think it's the color that fascinates me. I love this color on my fair clients. I'm using the Save Beauty Blender to blend out this blush and making sure that it's blended to the contour lines. I went ahead to blend out her under eyes, making sure that there is no creases. I'm using the same beauty blender I used in applying the concealer. After this, I'm going to go ahead to use the silver matte powder to set her under eye. I'm using the white shade from the powder. I'm going to make sure that the eyes is properly set to avoid creasing. I'm going to repeat the same process on her forehead and her jaw and the bridge of her nose. Using the same powder palette from Sylvia Mac Cosmetics, I'm going to go ahead to set all over her face while avoiding the areas where I highlighted and contoured.
after that i went ahead to bake her face or bake her under eye using the mirror cosmetic setting powder this will allow all the droplets from the eyeshadow i'm going to apply later not to crease her under eyes they are going to drop directly on the setting powder and this would also make her face more snatched I honestly did not enjoy working on this eyebrow because there was no hair on her brow. I think the last makeup artist she used did a bad job in grooming her eyebrow. She literally took off most of her hairs and it made it really difficult for me to work on her brow. But I managed to scale through but this is not like my best eyebrow situation. I did her eyebrow using the um i think Hega and esther brow gel the shade i use for this brow will be listed on the description box the angled brush i'm using i got it from a cosmetic store for 500 naira so i'm repeating the same process at the other side of our brow um filling in using that same Hega and esther cosmetic brow pomade I actually did this voiceover at the middle of the night so I feel like it's going to show because I was trying not to be too loud but just manage please then I went ahead to apply my eyeshadow base I used um, the silver mac um, eyeshadow base and I'm still using the eyeshadow palette to create this look I'm using the nude eyeshadow from the palette to apply it on her lid using a flat brush from New Bam Beauty. After that, I went ahead to blend out the outer corner with a brown eyeshadow from the same palette. Now I'm going to transition with an orange matte color to further define her crease. Using a fresh blending brush, I'm going to make sure that I, that I properly blend out the eyeshadow I used. Then I went ahead to deepen the crease using a darker brown. After that, I'm still trying to make sure that the eyeshadow is properly blended. I'll keep on blending this eyeshadow till I get my desired blending situation. I've been talking about situation in all of this video. I'm repeating the same process at the other side of her eyes. Then I went back to do a little bit of correction i'm applying the same eyeshadow on her lid after the application i had to go ahead and apply the brown at the outer corner and blending using a circular motion blending outward to the inner part because i don't need too much of the eyeshadow at the inner corner of her eyes Using my Zara Cosmetic Gel Liner in Jet Black, I'm going to be lining her eyes using an angled brush. I'm going to make sure that both of her eyes are properly lined. then I went ahead to apply 
apply my mascara the mascara i use for this look is from zaron cosmetics after applying this mascara making sure that all the drops from the eyeshadow was properly cleaned out i'm going to go ahead and apply the lashes off camera after applying her lashes i went ahead to line her waterline using the same gel liner from zara cosmetics At this point, I took off a hairband and I went ahead to reapply the concealer to cover up the line from the band. Then I'm using a fluffy brush to blend out the setting powder under her eyes. I'm going to make sure that this setting powder is properly blended. I'm doing this with just a brush. I'm not using any powder or any product at all. I'll keep on blending till I get my desired result. After making sure the whole face is properly blended, I'm going to go ahead and apply my new Bam Beauty Hydrating Spray. I'm doing this covering her eyes, making sure that the spray doesn't touch the eyeshadow to avoid it creasing. Then I went ahead to apply my lip gloss before I'll go ahead and line with a red lip line, um, lipstick or lip stain. After lining this lip stain, I'm going to go ahead to apply my Fenty Beauty lip stain. I have forgotten the name of this shade, but it is actually a red lipstick from Fenty Beauty. The red lip liner or the red lip stain I used to line is, I think it's from Classic Cosmetics. After applying the lip stain, I'm going to go ahead to clean up the excesses from to make sure that it's properly lined. Then I went ahead to apply my lip gloss using a flat fluffy brush. I'm going to clean up the concealer I used in lining. I'm going to make sure that her under eye is properly blended. After the lip application, I went in with my MSmetic Glow. Cream. This has been one of my best highlighting cream. I love the effect. It takes my matte look to a dewy look in a second. I use my beauty blender to apply this on her cheek, her forehead, the bridge of her nose. Are you seeing the shine, the glow that this is giving? I love this particular glow cream after i used a smaller brush to apply a lighter eyeshadow color at her tear dot or actually in her tear dot this silver eyeshadow actually helped in brightening of her eyes then this is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoy watching this Please do not forget to click on the subscribe button. See you in my next video. Bye. Love you.